Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, uh, a little bit earlier today, uh, Bill Haney rips Ellie setback. And, you know, you know what, Jay, let's let's go ahead and play the audio associated with this because I want people to hear it themselves. Um, I think that's important because you know how it is, man. People love to come on our channel and, and, and talk, talk crazy. It's not real. Man, that's not even what he said. So let me go ahead and pull it up. Uh, so I don't know, Jay. I think I'm, 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 I'm in an asshole mood today. I'm in an asshole mood today. So let me go ahead and um, more so today than others. But let me pull it up. And here we go. Public service announcement. We got a fake reporter doing fake news by the name of Ellie Setback. Not only is this scumbag doing fake news and being a culture vulture, but he's also pitting young African-Americans against each other. Black brothers, brown brothers, and alike. Instead of pushing this boxing agenda forward and asking the right questions and the tough questions, he's creating dissension and division with a microphone and capitalizing on it financially while leaving others to repatch relationships that have been built over quite some time. I say, let the fighters and the teams do the arguing, the debating, the fussing, the fighting, only to make up because they have a mutual respect for their positions. Let's not let some scumbag reporter who's never boxed a day of his life, never helped a, anyone in boxing. Ellie setback is cancer to the sport. Although he might celebrate one brother here and there to save face, while he destroys another one, using another one. Doesn't that sound familiar? Ellie said back, you're fucking with the wrong one. That's my son. And he's the undisputed champion of the world. So this message tonight <laughs> for you, Ellie said back, and on your fake news and your fake reporting, you know, how you carefully use that, that, that uh, accent, that accent that some of my brown brothers have when you say reporting. So, um, I don't, I, you know what, Jay, uh, I don't I really don't understand what Bill is talking about right now, but be quite honest with you. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of Ellie Setback. I never have been, to be quite honest with you, because I think there's a way to cover boxing without having to try to ingratiate yourself with the boxers. Uh constantly, constantly praising a boxer when in fact a boxer uh at that point may need criticism versus praise. So I've I've yeah. always I've always had that bit of a a a, a challenge with Ellie Setback. Uh, you know, everything isn't about the superlatives of a boxer, you know, and to Bill's point, ask a tough question. However, I think what Bill is upset about, because I went to Ellie Setback uh, page to go look at some of his latest videos. And the only thing that I saw associated with Devin Haney was, you know, a video that looked like it was maybe old, saying something about um, Devin Haney last nose to nose uh, encounter with Teofimo Lopez. He also had another video up in regards to some sparring that, Ellie, that uh, Devin Haney did where it was kind of slowed down. I don't know if uh, Bill Haney was upset about that, implying that maybe, you know, Devin was taking some damage in the sparring. I, I don't I, I have a feeling just based off what he said. It was the last video I saw up there where basically yeah. uh, Ellie setback was covering the situation yeah. with uh, yeah the ex situation with Devin Haney and um, and Shakur Stevenson. We covered that as well. A lot of people cover that. Fight Hype covered it. Uh, most people cover it because it's a part of the sport. So although I'm not necessarily a fan of um, 
the 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 style of Ellie setback where he tries to just use superlatives, essentially just sucking up to fighters constantly. And there's never a critical word or critical eye relative to a fighter. Um, you know, the the I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to put names out there. Errol Spence. I think he kisses Errol's ass. Uh, people would may say we kiss Errol's ass. And don't get me wrong. I am an Errol Spence fan. But at the same time, we'll criticize him as well. And you'll probably hear some criticism in regards to him today on our live stream, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday. Uh, however, you know. You can you can you can be a fan of a fighter. You can support a fighter while also have a critical eye of a fighter as well. And um, it's it's sad, man, because, you know, and I get why Ellie Setback does that, because in general, you will not have access to fighters if you criticize fighters, if you criticize a fighter, if you criticize an entity, yeah. if you criticize a promoter, if you criticize anybody associated with it, you won't have access to fighters. So you have to be a fight hype of the world, basically covering the sport and doing Articles. You can't be someone like a like a Greg or a Jason, where if you have any criticism of a fighter, or if you know they don't like your necessarily your headlines and stuff like that, you're not going to get access to fighters. And and so I get why it happens, but at the same time, man, um, you got to be true to who you are and, and 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 what you feel and what you see and speak on it. And if a fighter gets upset with you or a promotional entity or anybody gets upset with you. It's not personal, dog. Like, it's not personal. It's just, this is my opinion. And some people agree with it. Some people don't. People criticize us. Uh, as long as people are respectfully disagreeing with us, I have no issue with it. You know, I've seen people say Ooh, yeah. we, were, we were clowns for saying something, stuff of that nature. I don't care. You know, as long as it's in a respectful way, uh, we can always disagree. But, Jay, what's your thoughts on it, man? How, how do you feel about Bill's response to, I'm assuming, the coverage between Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney um, here this week on X? Yeah, I think this is stemming. It's been a long time coming. I just going back further, and um, Bill Haney is giving messages to Ellie before, about a year ago, that Ellie put on his page. Um, I think also Ellie was about four months ago talking about Devin needs to stop copying Tank and Floyd and just be Devin Haney. And he also really went in on Devin about the Devin and Loma fight. Tom, all he did was hug. He didn't win the fight. He really lost that fight. Loma's still the champion. So I think oh, that okay. it stems from that. So now I think I think it's just the ice on the cake with that last him retweeting the stuff or whatever you call Twitter or X now, um, the back and forth between Shakur and Devin. But even then, it's a bit much – um, they say that he's only out there saying that they're just he's just there to see when two brothers against each other. Devin and Shakur are already against each other. <laughs> uh, I hate. Uh, can I can I interrupt you real quick, man? I hate when people do that. I really hate when people do that. I saw people on our channel talking that same craziness about we we are black men and it'd it be your own kind doing it to. Can't be critical. You know, we're we're pitting Errol yeah. Spence versus Terrence Crawford. They're both black. They're both black. This is a debate. They're both black. There is nobody tearing any black man down and all that other stuff. Now, exactly. I get I get where he comes from, maybe from a setback perspective, uh, perspective because setback isn't necessarily African-American. I understand that maybe. But when you start talking yeah. about, two, uh, you know, a black man talking about two other black men and you, you just have a perspective um, on one versus the other. I cannot stand that, bro. But go ahead. My bad. And, and the fact that we're not putting either either fighter down, we're being critical of their antics or anything that could be be detrimental to them as a as a fighter, as a young man. We're never putting them down. So when people come in our comment section saying stuff that to to us to that nature like that, I'm like, what are you talking about? You're in your emotions because that's your favorite fighter, and you can't take anything critical about your favorite fighter. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Almost we right. want to see the, we want to see all those all these these play, these fighters thrive. In the ring and definitely outside the ring. You said you said that numerous occasions. We want to see them be able to line their pockets for generational wealth to come for them. So I mean, on that, I get, that's the only thing I, I get tired of people coming at us about that. But as far as Ellie, Ellie, he he goes with the with the way of the the, wash, the ocean. You know, the tides going to the going pushing it to the north. He's going to the north. He never it's who gives, gives him access, back. dog. He's he's with who gives yes. him access. That's all it is. He's going to favor it. the people that give him access, just like the people 
who favor Devin Haney, Devin gives them access. That's why they that's why they're so favorable towards Devin Haney. That's the way it all works, man. So so are we going to call the people that are supporting Devin Haney that Devin Haney gives access to? Are we calling them fake reporters and that they shouldn't? Again, I'm not a fan necessarily of Ellie Sekback. I don't think any of these guys should be showing deferential treatment towards any fighter or um or or you know trying to ingratiate themselves with a fighter so they can have access to him. I don't believe in that at all. I'd rather just do our show with no no, no access to any fighters because uh I want to say what I want to say and I'm going to say what I want to say. Period. So um authentic. Yeah, so this whole thing, you know, I I don't know, man. Just I Bill, I get that you're upset in regards to what uh, Ellie Setback had to say. Just address him directly and say, hey, man, you, you're saying a lot of, yeah. yeah, you're saying a whole lot of stuff, but all this, you know, painting, pitting brothers against brothers. I don't know if that's really the case. I think it's more so. This is the, These are the guys that give me access. Errol Spence gives me access. Javante Davis gives me access. Um, mm -hmm. Who else? Now, uh, Robert Garcia nine. gives him, Robert Garcia gives yeah. him access. Um uh ab gives him access so those are the people that you hear all these nice things about the people that give him access similarly mm -hmm. the same with devin haney the people that give that devin haney gives access to those people are going to treat him in a way and give him a deferential treatment that they would they maybe wouldn't otherwise do so if devin haney wasn't giving him access you think all these people would be? Fighter. no no so you guys tell us what you think in the comment section in regards to bill haney um i think you can look at it both ways you tell us what you think about it don't forget to hate like comment and subscribe this is angry man podcast m sports media and we are